Trinetta, we're talking about um, your episode eight on Atlanta Plastic, season two. And your episode was the butt gut. Now, people have asked me, what is a butt gut? <laughs> what, is a, what is a butt gut? Well, butt gut was formed after I had uh, emergency surgery uh, due to the bowel, a bowel obstruction that I had. Yes. All right, but you, in what really bothered me is you were turned away not once, but twice. How do you get turned away twice from a surgery that you could have died from? You went to a particular hospital here in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and they told me that I was backed up, and I believed them. Um, and then I went home, and I was throwing up brown stuff from my mouth. I didn't know it at the time, but that was actually my fecal matter. Mm -hmm. And um, I went back, and they told me I was back up, take some whatever x lax and you know, don't yeah. come back pretty much. But um, I just was in such pain. So they just turned me away twice. And, and my mother was the one who said, you know, call 911, you know. And that's when I did, and that's when I went to a hospital and was helped out tremendously. But I was left with a horrible, deep, deep seated scar. Oh, God. All right, and before this, did you ever consider plastic surgery? No, not ever. Never? Uh-uh. So Even I after this happened, I didn't really think about, I didn't think about plastic surgery at all. No. Wow. Um, I saw the episode, mm -hmm. and when I saw the butt gut, as you <laughs> called it, I was like, oh my God. It took a lot of guts to show the world that. Oh my God. I mean, so much guts. How did yeah. that make you feel showing the world you know, something that was wrong with you? Um, I, it took a lot. I would, I wasn't even going to apply for it actually. And it was a girlfriend of mine that thought I should tell my story. Um, what made me decide to really show the world that to tell my story is because had I known about bowel obstruction, I wouldn't have let the first hospital turn me away twice. I would have sought immediate help but I didn't know what was going on. So because I want to help other people and enlighten them and talk about bowel obstruction so they'll know they won't have to go through what I went through, I suffered through it and it was really hard. It was times I wanted to turn away, times I didn't want to show up on set because I mean, if you did see the episode, I was in panties and bra mm -hmm. and I was stressed out about it, honestly. What exactly is bowel obstruction? What is it? It's when something obstructs your bowels. You have bowels so you can move. <laughs> and something, a ring, in my case, it was a fibroid that got caught up in my uh, bowels and tied them up. Oh my God. Yeah. It's your doctor, Dr. Barron on Atlanta Plastic, she did a great job. Fantastic. Your body, oh my God. Hey. Your body looks so amazing. Thank you. Now, the show was amazing. Thank I mean, you. I sat there and I cried with you. Wow. And I watched it more than once. Were there any deleted scenes that we missed that you wish people would have seen? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> well, you know, I, I did have a single I was working on and everything. And I was in the studio. And we did some scenes in the studio and everything that I would have loved to have. But um, that didn't make it. Everything's not going to make it. I want you to say, what well, it really touched me when you were giving your doctor that award. Right. I was like, wow. But I want you to talk about um, what you said to her again. It was just, I don't want to repeat it. I want you to say it. <laughs> it was so awesome. I told her, you know, I said, um, an African-American woman gave me life. An African-American woman saved my life. And I said, an African-American woman gave me back my life, which is Dr. Barron. She gave me back my life. And my confidence and you know um, so I'm just very grateful that was so beautiful thank you now a person is watching this interview and watching you how do you get on Atlanta Plastics like, how did you get on Atlanta Plastic? well I got a casting call from my agent and I think there was an open casting call so uh, you could look on the web and look for open casting calls but my agent Skinny Corleone okay. <laughs> sent me a, a casting agent but um, and once I sent in my story, once my girlfriend and I talked and I sent in my story, that's all you need to do. And okay. it's up to them to choose your story or not. Your story was amazing. Now, what is next for Trinidad Love? 
Well, Trinetta Love is working on her films and her uh, uh, web series under T-Stars Entertainment. Um, I am blowing that up. And of course, I'm always going to be performing, but I'm very particular now. I'm even more so particular where I perform and where I'm seen, um, images, everything. And I'm just building my brand and building my T-Stars movement. I want to shout out to all the T-Stars because uh, they've been so very supportive. You're a T-Star as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I saw you singing a song to Dr. Barron, <laughs> oh, I wanted to hear more. <laughs> it sounded so amazing. Can you, Thank can, you. We end, can we end this interview with you singing? We certainly can. My stomach has set me free. Dr. Barron has done her thing. Have you seen her masterpiece? Now I can go after everything I want to see.